Today we're making these mini Boston cream pie cookie bites. We're gonna start off with one box of yellow cake mix, one third of a cup of softened butter, and two eggs. Mix those ingredients together. Since we're not adding in any liquids, this dough will be fairly thick and somewhat sticky. You might even have a rough time with it if you're mixing this by hand. I suggest a stand mixer or a handheld. For this recipe, we're going to use a mini cupcake pan sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. As you can see here, I've already started filling the cavities with dough. I tried scooping it out with a small cookie scooper, even a measuring spoon, both sprayed with nonstick cooking spray for easy removal, but both ideas resulted in sticky fingers and it was just more of a mess than I'd care to deal with. But once I switched to a piping bag, everything moved along more smoothly and in my opinion, the overall product looked better into the oven at 350 degrees for 9 to 11 minutes. Once your cakes are done, it's time to turn them into shells. Immediately after taking them out of the oven, take a teaspoon size measure and gently press down into the center like so. Do this to all of your cakes, then immediately turn them out onto a wire rack to cool. Here's an example of what overfilling looks like. This can easily be fixed. You simply turn it into a sample. <laughs> to make the filling, we're going to use a 3.25 ounce box of instant vanilla pudding mix. I think that's a standard size regular box. One cup of heavy whipping cream and half a cup of milk. Whip everything together until it's nice and thick. To fill these, I'm just going to stick with a piping bag. For this filling, yes, a gallon Ziploc baggie should work fine if you don't have a piping bag. I like to pipe a generous amount. And since this pudding does have dairy in it, it will need to be refrigerated. These can also be made the night before. I forgot to mention this earlier, but you want to add in about half a tablespoon's worth of batter when making these shells. The shell on the right is the correct size, and the shell on the left is just not quite there. <laughs> To make the chocolate ganache in a microwave safe bowl, we're going to need 3 tablespoons of semi-sweet chocolate chips and 2 tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Microwave for about 20 seconds. This next part is not necessary at all, a spoon works fine, but I'm going to stick with the piping bag method for the ganache as well. If you're as generous with your dollop of chocolate as I am, you might also run into the same problem of not having enough chocolate to go around. If that's the case, simply double the ganache. 6 tablespoons of semi-sweet chocolate and 4 tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I will insert an ingredients list right here for those of you that want to make this. This recipe makes about 36 minis, which makes this a great idea for family gatherings, office parties, or treats to take to an event around the holidays. A nice little make the night before party dessert. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll see you all in the next video.